So with this unboxing, um, our books distributed by Penguin Random House. Um, they are releasing on February 2nd, 2021. And I believe this box is from Candlewood Press. So let's take it. Layers okay, the first is Oh, I Am a Bird by Hope Lim, illustrated by Hei he Wan Yum. And um, Hope was a um, guest blogger on my blog. And, like, you know, I totally messed up too. I actually used the wrong book jacket. Um, but this is just looks like a very sweet book. Um, I read it too, and it's kind of about. Um, you know, like when kids fantasize about flying and being a bird and just like kind of that innocence and joy. Um, and this book really captures that childlike innocence and, you know, kind of sense of freedom. And so I actually don't think I read it before. I don't think I, this is the first time I actually had a copy. I think before I only had the book jacket. So looks like there's also, um, Tension in the story by this little girl with her dad encountering a woman who does not look that cheerful. And so it looks like um, there's some interaction where a, a new friendship is made. So that looks really sweet. Okay, look forward to reading it actually. The next one is another picture book, The Midnight Fair by Gideon Starer. Illustrated by Maria Chiara Di Giorgio. I hope I said that right. And it is centered around a merry-go-round, a carousel. And it looks like there's animals. And perhaps they want to ride the carousel. And then the stars are in this really interesting um, constellation pattern. that makes it really... Um, you know, sort of like a party, fairy-like, fantastical. So, I don't know, intriguing cover. And, oh, look at this end paper. That has a lot of drama. Like here you can kind of see a whole story. A bear scratching a back and then a raccoon hidden and then a baby bear and these other animals. And then you see sort of this caravan. Um, they're coming to set up. Here's a deer. Oh, so it's a fairground in the evening, and of course, it's enticing to everybody, not just humans. And then the animals in the forest want to take their turn. And so it's a it's sort of this joyous um, exploration. Oh, wordless, wordless picture book. Nice. I do love a good wordless. And this one, you know what, look like, look at the illustrations, like, they use the dark so effectively to create drama, so it's like a lot of shadow, um, but then there's uh, the bright lights that really draw the eye in, but then amongst the, the shadows is, you know, sort of where you see, you know, um, the outlines of the animal, so it's, it's really um, an effective way to illustrate kind of it, you know, makes it very dramatic and also makes it kind of fun for kids to be like, wait, what's that? Like, I see ears. What's that? Um, and so, like, I don't know. I Effective use of shadows and, like, color scheme, you know? I think that's really interesting. So, um, and then when they get to the fair, woo! explosion of colors it just looks you know like a you know like a like a fantasy dream wow this I could see up for major awards I mean this one is fantastic and then there hasn't been a um, like a wordless picture book that won a do uh, won a Caldecott in a while I think the last one was a, a vault for Daisy so, I don't know, this one's, this one's on my list. That is incredible. Okay, one more. One more in this box. And it is by Rachel Stubbs. Mm 
my red hat. And um, you know what I really like? I like the simplicity of this color scheme. It's just, you know, red and, you know, shades of red and then shades of dark, like this gray. And it's very sim simple, but because there's plenty of white space, it's very eye-catching. And then here you see the red hat. And it looks like it could be multi-generational story. It could be a grandparent. Okay, so this is a hat can do many things. Um, it can, oh, it can hold your dreams and hide your fears. Wow, that's like so poetic and also true. It can, you know, keep you warm and dry and help you stand out in a crowd. And so this is a meditation on love and memory. A grandfather passes down to his grandchild the joyful anticipation of a life lived with wonder and openness and a very special hat. So I, wow. I mean, I, I think like with COVID and right now in January, 400,000 people, you know, perished from the disease that, you know, we're going to see and need a lot of books about loss and memory and, um, you know, um, how to deal, how to deal with loss and how to, um, find something comforting. And this looks like a, a really great um, story and, and also metaphor for um, remembering, you know, all the happy memories of someone that you've lost um, and finding a way to keep it close to your heart. And so this looks, it looks great. And I, I mean, honestly, too, like just in terms of graphic design and layout and color, it's just so beautiful. And it's, um, you know, vignette simplicity, keeping the color scheme to a limited palette. And like here where they have, you know, sort of the illustration, the background colored and here where they don't and side by side, it just gives the story some life, you know, kind of moves your eye along. And um, I don't know, there's something very um, friendly about this illustration style and interesting and um, you know there's diversity in the group as well and even you know some sort of fantastical fantasy moments it's just a really beautifully illustrated book I mean I that's actually what I love about Candlebook I just feel like there's always something special about every book they make you know, there's just something just a little bit different, a little bit unexpected, like, you know, that extra, that extra investment, that extra touch um, to make the book outstanding. I mean, that, I think that's what they're, I think that's what they're very good at. And then you ended on this sort of spread where, you know, like, like it's powerful, you know, because it's like um, only the red hat. Is, col is the color on the last page. And they use the shadow in the dark to kind of highlight, not just the moon, but the hat and um, the relationship between this grandchild and her grandfather. And then you see the same red reflected in the end papers. And I don't know, something very sim sim like elegant in the simplicity, you know? Okay, great. Thank you so much, Candlewick Press and to Penguin Random House for mailing this to me. Um, and these books are out soon, February 2nd. So um, I hope you guys will be on the lookout for them. Um, and thank you again for watching.